Welcome to our live Saturday Zoom Yoga. So very happy that each of you could be here. And I'll talk you through what the theme is and kind of where we'll be going in just a moment. But for now, close your eyes, settle in. Take some nice deep breaths. Let the exhales release you out. So take the type of exhales that you need. It might be that open mouth really loud. It might be sighing out. It might be just a normal breath, but see how much on each exhale you can let go. And of course, I encourage you since you're practicing on your own and we're all muted to really experiment with loud open mouth exhales. Really see how that feels. Uh, since nobody else will be hearing it, don't hold back. <sighs> then as you are ready, just begin to let the breath normalize. Bring full attention to sensation of breath. How do you feel it? Just notice it. And feel like as you notice the breath on the inside of your body, noticing how it comes in and where you feel it, how far back in your um, nose and maybe even further, you can notice it. Same thing. Where do you feel it when it comes as the exhale? As you kind of bring that inner body awareness, let that inner body awareness expand so that you can feel what your body needs. You can feel that rooting down, sitting bones into earth, rising up, crown of head, to the beautiful sky above us. You can feel the attention move to the places that need it. So maybe hinge of jaw so you can let go there. Maybe the throat. Maybe shoulders. perhaps chest. Perhaps belly button floats from the spine just a little bit farther away. The pelvic floor relaxes. And then keep this nice interior focus so that you can really feel your body, feel what it needs and keep progressively relaxing. And as you continue that kind of letting go with each exhale, I'll tell you a bit about today's practice. So we've been talking in the last several classes about positive reframing, kind of consciously bringing the positive into what may have initially been perceived as a negative. Easiest thought about that is, my quad hurts in lunge pose. Positive reframing. My quad is gonna get stronger because I'm doing a wonderful thing for my body right now and I will feel stronger in body and spirit. Positive reframing. So sometimes that's easier said than done. If you have trouble bringing that positive reframing and especially in this time when we've got really so much negative stuff bombarding us from all sides, Sometimes we just need to let go. Sometimes we need to work hard in our yoga practice to just kind of build the fire and burn it all out. And sometimes we need to really just notice what's going on and consciously let it go with non-judgment. So believe it or not, just having that sense of this is what it is, is one of the most powerful ways of letting go. 
So we're going to work with both of those today, that idea of kind of ringing out, building fire, letting go in a physical way, but also bringing that non-judgment so that we can let it go from a cognitive way as well as a physical way. So I encourage you to bring hands to heart space, press thumbs into breastbone, if your eyes are open and it's comfortable to close them, please do. I encourage you for your intention today to be willing to let go in both a physical way, and our practice today will be twisting. You can feel about, feel the sense of wringing stuff out, and in the cognitive way of bringing non-judgment to your experience. So find the intention that works for you and breathe it through a couple rounds of breath. Then we'll take a open mouth exhale to send it out across the universe to support each of us in the Zoom practice and beyond. So with your next exhale, just empty out. With your inhale, fill up low to high. Pass the collarbones, hold it, feel your intention. Then open mouth exhale, send it out. Very nice. Where whatever position you're in, just nice and slowly blink eyes open, transition your way out, move any throw pillows or other props that you may have. You might have a block or a stand in for a block handy. Stand in for a block could just be a book, uh, could be a stool, whatever works for you. And then go ahead and make your way into your tabletop. And as you get into tabletop, see those wrist creases right in line with the tops of the shoulders. And then super slow motion, inhale, cow pose. So slow motion that you can really feel the pelvis tilt a little bit more, the belly button drop towards the earth, the heart space lift, and then slow motion it back. Cat pose, stay in cat for a couple rounds of breath so you can really reach the arms long, belly button in and up, pelvis tilts backward like it's gonna spill out to the back of the knees. And then make it your flow, cow to cat, so your speed, work into the tight spots as you find them. When ready, barrel rolls, your practice, your pace. So you get to decide, okay, I'm gonna do a couple more cat cows and then come into that barrel roll. Really work into the side body once you get into the barrel rolls. Find that tight spot in the outer hip. Take one more full side to side, and then when you've got that side to side completed, move on back. Take a inhale to cow, exhale to cow. Settle in, plank pose, big inhale. With your exhale, send it back. Down dog, reach long, pedal out. So in your down dog, as you're pedaling out, peek forward, check that wrist creases are square in the front of the mat. Check that middle fingers are pointed at the top of the mat. Then root those knuckles down, root the base of the palm down, even weight across the palms. A couple more rounds of breath here. And then with your next inhale, come way high in the balls of the feet, perhaps even to the tippy toes. Send the heels over to the right. You're on the outer edge of the right foot, inner edge of the left, reach those arms long. Feel like you're gonna send the sitting bone and the tailbone up, 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 and back as you reach, and then root extra into the edges of those feet connected with the mat. One more breath. Next inhale, come to the balls of your feet once again. Heels high, maybe to the tippy toes, send heels to the left. Outer edge of left foot, inner edge of right. Reach those arms long. Send the right sitting bone way up and back, rooting to those edges of the feet that are connected to the earth. Two breaths. Next inhale, back up, balls of the feet. Melt the heels down, bend the knees as much as you need to, and then exhale, bring it forward, tabletop. From your tabletop, sweep up, reach up. Before you take your wrist circles, see if there's more room for you to revolve around the spine. Then take your wrist circles, couple in each direction. Then take the left hand just outside the mat, thread through, palm up, right shoulder down. Nice and slowly here, work into Taking that left shoulder so it's over the right. Stack it over the right. 
Then feel yourself revolve around the spine. You might sense more of the twist here than you would as we do this in an everyday practice. Two more breaths. Breathe into the right shoulder. With your next round of breath or so, reverse it out. Slowly, slowly. Sweep up, reach up, puff out. Big breath into the right side body. Exhale, bring it down. Tabletop. Next inhale, sweeps left arm up. Feel yourself revolve around the spine. Reach up, wrist circles, couple in each direction. And then as you're ready, thread it through. Reach, reach with the left arm. Drop the left shoulder, step right shoulder over left. And see where that left shoulder wants to go. Remember, you can move it around to find the spot that works for you. Of course, maybe half bind, maybe reaching for the sky. Maybe sending that right foot out 45 degrees. Your choice, as always. With the next round of breath or so, reverse it out. Top arm comes down, pivots up. Reach the arm up, puff left side body. Revolve around the spine, exhale. Bring it down. Tabletop. Round of breath and tabletop. Next exhale, takes you back. Down dog. Reach the arms long. Paddle out. A little more side to side. Next round of breath, find stillness, reach long. Exhale, bend knees, look forward, big step. Top of mat, inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Feel that you can reach the tailbone back, crown of head forward. Exhale, release, forward fold. Just two breaths here to just get a sense of where your hamstrings are. So. Have hands connected somewhere. One more breath. With your exhale, crouch and curl it down. Balls of the feet. Tuck into a teeny little ball. Shin tucks back round. Press into the hands. Reach the hands away. Weight into the hands. Spread through the shoulder blades. Next couple rounds of breath. Ragdoll it up. Knees stay soft. Arms stay heavy. Vertebra stacks one on top of the other. Then when shoulders are over the waist, Knees can come almost straight, not locked out. Bend, sweep the arms up. Reach it tall, a little back bend. With your exhale, arms together. Parallel arms, knuckles reach away. Spread through the upper shoulder blades, upper spine rounds. Belly button in and up, tuck the chin a bit more. Inhale, release. Goal post your arms, squeeze shoulder blades together. Let those shoulder blades lift the heart space, root through the legs. Inhale, little back bend. Exhale, palms together, elbow squeeze, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, bend knees, plant hands, send it back, plank pose. Round of breath, couple rounds of breath in plank. Feel the balls of the feet root down. Feel like you're gonna drag the balls of the feet to the backs of the hands, fire up your core. One more breath. With your next round of breath, take those inner elbows, point them more towards the top of the mat, and then drop the knees, then dive it down. Once the chin hits, you'll be an interim asana, then send the legs back, top of the feet press down, inhale, baby cobra, float the hands. Couple breaths here, warm up the low back, and then with your next exhale, Drop the palms, come over the toes, send the hips back to the heels. Down dog, big exhale takes you back. Couple rounds of breath, reaching long. Next exhale, bend knees, look forward, big step or hop, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Two breaths here, gently squeeze shoulder blades in the midline, so long through the spine. Exhale, release. Forward fold. This time take several rounds of breath to take the movement that you need. Pedaling out, maybe some side to side. If you do go side to side, keep those knees soft. So as the knees are soft, you're not going to torque when you take the side to side. About two or three more breaths worth. Then find that engagement in the low belly, two inches or three inches below the belly button, in and up, gently engage there, but not so much that you can't breathe. And then with your next inhale, reverse swan dive up, 
unless your low back is cranky, then hands to hips first. If hands went to hips, once the spine is tall, then reach up, take a little back bend, go pose to your arms, squeeze those shoulder blades together, root through the legs. If it feels good, reach up, wide arms, receive that beautiful sunshine from above, exhale, palms together, squeeze the elbows in the midline, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend knees, plant hands, step back, find plank. Inhale, plank. Exhale, bring it down your way. If you'd like to chaturanga, halfway, elbow, shoulder, same height, flip to the tops of the feet, press the arms long. Shoulder blades, lift the heart. So much length between waist and toes that your quads are off the earth. Engage the quads. Exhale, bring it back, down dog. One breath, big inhale. Big exhale. Next exhale, bend knees, look forward, hop or step, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Move with your breath. Exhale, release, forward fold. Engage low core, inhale, sweep it up. Reverse swan dive, reach tall, little back bend. Grow taller, exhale, palms come to midline, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend knees, plant hands, step or jump back. Plank pose. One breath in plank, big inhale. Exhale, take it down your way. Knees, chest, and chin to baby cobra. Chaturanga to up dog. Exhale, send it back, down dog. Three big breaths. Let your head hang. Shake it, yes and no. Pedal out if you need a little more hamstring love. And then with your next inhale, float the right leg up. Remember, our leg lifts are always optional. You can always go right through the lunge. Take your three leg lifts here. We'll call this one. Drop it down, float it up. Come to the ball of the left foot. Exhale, drop it down, float it up. That's two. Exhale, drop it down, float it up. Keep it up, bend at the knee. Feel the ball of the foot, heel of the foot could touch the sky. Three high to highest bent knee leg lifts. One, two, Three, bring it long, send it through, lunge pose. Take a round of breath in your lunge, tailbone down, slide up dog chest, root the legs towards the midline of the mat, and then center of the mat, that is. And then with your exhale, drop the left knee. Take any stretch that works for your body so you get that nice stretch from quad to hip point, the hip flexor area. So maybe um, fingers stay down, maybe interlace send hips forward tailbone down maybe sweep the arms up reach tall maybe a little back bend so wherever you go stay long in the body and then focus on hips forward tailbone down to find that quad to hip point stretch two more breaths if you're in a back bend long through the side body long through the spine grow tall big inhale exhale send back bend the foot Half Hanumanasana, hip creases bring you back. Root that heel down, flex through the foot. Maybe bring the knee so it's right under the hip point, the hip crease of the left side. Three breaths. Flex strongly, one more breath. And then go ahead and plant the right foot down. Reset knee under hip, frame the foot, inhale. Take a twist. Revolve around the spine. See how much you can sense that revolving around the spine and opening up. We'll stay for about three to five breaths here. So you can stay just like this. You can float that right knee open and open up a little bit more. If you float the right knee, you're on the outer edge of that right foot. Two more breaths. Revolving around the spine a little more maybe. With your exhale, flatten the right foot. Send the right hand back down to frame the foot. Plank pose, inhale there, exhale, bring it down, your way, inhale, shine through, exhale, send back, one breath. With your next inhale, float the left leg way high, keep those hips nice and square, then we're going to bring it down, touch the earth, we'll call this starting with one here, come to the ball of the right foot, lift high, drop it down, this is number two, way high. Ball of foot, exhale it down. This is three to stay. Stay here, lift high, bend at the knee, 
Feel like the ball of the foot and heel can touch the sky. Three, pulses. One, two, three. Send it long, sweep it through. Lunge pose. Feel so much length in your lunge. Drop the hips, shoulder blades support the heart space. Crown of the head reaches away from the back body. Another breath. Exhale, drop it down, right knee. Take any hip flexor stretch that works for you. Maybe the side is different because this is your tight side or open side. Find what works. Maybe hands down, maybe interlaced. Maybe sweep the arms up, goal pose, or reach into a back bend. Two or three more breaths from here. Really feel that right hip flexor, hips forward, tailbone down, long through the spine, long through the side body. Big inhale here. Exhale, sweep it down, hands frame. Next exhale, half Hanumanasana. Right hip over the right knee. Right hip crease over the right knee. And then both hip creases, like they want to pull you back, flex through that left foot. Spread through the toes. Two more breaths. Next round of breath, flatten that left foot. Make sure the right knee is under that hip crease. Right hand down, sweep up. Twist in a low lunge. Couple breaths with the knee right over the ankle. Revolving around the spine a little more. And then if you'd like, float left knee open. You're coming on the knife edge of the left foot. See if you're gonna revolve around the spine a little bit more. Look up if that's comfortable. Two more breaths. Feel your body. Next breath, exhale, flatten foot, left hand comes down, send it back, plank pose, inhale, plank, exhale, bring it down, halfway, if you're chaturanga flip to the tops of the feet, reach the arms, shoulder width, lift the height space, big inhale, exhale, sends you back, round of breath, well, three rounds of breath here, let your breath settle, then with your next inhale, Float that right leg way, way high. Take your hip opener, heel up, stack hips, heel to tailbone, see if you can point knee to sky, see if you can bring that right shoulder blade back in space a touch, just square the shoulders. And then take your circles, a couple in each direction. After you get that second direction completed, straighten the foot, keep the hip stack, use the outer leg, lift it up higher, and then square the hips, Lift that right leg higher still. Exhale, send through, lunge pose. Feel that length. Root down through the right foot. Left heel sends back. Root both feet down, both legs down. And then inhale, twist. Revolve around the spine. Feel that sense of torso opening up, revolving open. Root down. Take more weight out of that left hand. We'll prepare for twisted, for revolved crescent pose. So you might look down if you want that stability. If you want the challenge, keep the gaze up. Next inhale, right arm takes you to the back of the mat. Torso is nice and tall. Revolve around the spine, twisted crescent. Maybe looking back to that back thumb. Two breaths here. Next inhale, come back. Crescent pose, if you wobble, that's totally fine. Reset, exhale, drop, left knee. Drop the left knee only as much as you need to get that quad stretch. Couple breaths here, hips stay forward. Inhale, straighten. You want that challenge, look up. Exhale, back to crescent. Big inhale, look up, go tall. Exhale, takes you down. Plank, inhale, plank. Exhale, your way down. Inhale to shine through. Exhale, send you back, one breath. With your next inhale, float that left leg way high. Hip opener, stack hips. Left heel towards the tailbone, knee to sky. Once you're there, take your hip circles, a couple in each direction. After the third and the second direction or whatever you're doing, send the left leg high. Use the outer leg to lift it higher still. Square the hips, send it through. Lunge pose. Enjoy so much length. Big breath, root down. 
inhale, twist, revolve around the spine, look up, keep that left hip point from jutting out, you want it nice and tucked in. Prepare for a revolved crescent, perhaps looking down, perhaps you want that challenge, keep the gaze up, left arm pulls you back, revolve around the spine, torso nice and tall, reach long, look back, if you're wobbly, that's awesome, and then with your next inhale, bring it forward, find your way back to your crescent, exhale, drop, right knee, find the quad stretch, second side, breathe, two breaths, next inhale, straighten everything up, look up if you want that challenge, exhale, drop it back, crescent, one breath, big inhale, grow tall, look up, exhale, bring it down, frame the foot, sand it back, plank, inhale, plank, exhale, bring it down, inhale, shine, exhale, send back, three big breaths, in your down dog, as you're there, shake your head, yes and no, let the breath normalize, take a big, full breath, and we'll take a nice open mouth exhale, so next exhale, empty out, Next inhale, fill up, low to high, pass the collarbones, hold it. Then open up, exhale, let it go. Good. From your down dog, float that right leg way high. With your exhale, send through, knee to chin. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, send through. Lunge pose. From your lunge, spin down back heel. Find that heel to arch alignment. With your next inhale, sweep it up. Warrior one. So just find your way in warrior one. How's that hip feeling? How's the knee? If it's tight or the knee's cranky, perhaps wider stance, less of a twist. If you're feeling good, bring that right hip point back, left hip point square. Sweep it up, find your warrior one. With your next inhale, pop the left heel up. So you're back in crescent, readjust as you need to. We're gonna dynamically come into the sense of a crescent twist, high lunge twist. So with your exhale, right arm goes back, left elbow comes over the quad, stay, hover. Inhale, back up. Crescent, two more times. Exhale, maybe twist a little bit more. Left elbow might go to the outside of the quad. Inhale, back up, crescent. Exhale, send it back. Maybe the left elbow actually touches the outside of the quad. Inhale, sweep up, reach up, grow tall through the torso and hands. Exhale, bring it down, frame the foot, plank. Inhale, plank, exhale, you are way down. Inhale to shine through, exhale, send it back, down dog, one big breath, next inhale, sweep the left leg, way high, exhale, knee to chin, hover, inhale, nice and high, exhale, send it through, lunge pose, spin down, heel to heel, rise, warrior one, see how you're doing on this side, make those adjustments, maybe you're going to back off, you have time to look back, heel to heel, right big toe pointing up the mat about 30 degrees. Check that knee out, same direction as the middle toes. Reset as needed in your warrior one. One more breath. Then go ahead and pop that right heel up, coming into crescent pose. Set up, feel strong. Exhale, twist in, elbow hovers over the quad. One breath. Inhale, sweep back up, crescent. Exhale. Left arm goes back, right elbow, maybe hovers over the outside, one breath. Inhale, sweep up, reach tall, exhale. Last time, maybe that elbow hovers outside the left quad, one breath. Inhale, sweep up, reach tall, look up, exhale, send it down, plank pose. Inhale, plank, exhale, your way down. Inhale, shine, exhale, send back. 
and breathe. If you are fatigued, go right back to go into or drop into child's pose. If you're feeling good in your down dog, make that your happy home base. Shake your head, let it hang, relax through the neck muscles. Big inhale, big exhale. With your next round of breath, we'll empty out on the exhale. Inhale to fill all the way up. Hold it, drink it a bit more. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Next inhale, float right leg. Actually, keep the leg down. We're gonna bend the knees, look forward. Big step or hop, top of mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release, forward fold. Couple rounds of breath and forward fold. Find the stretch. Knees can be soft. Root down through the legs, rise to the tailbone. With your next round of breath, toe heel together. Inner big toe freeze, to fresh. Freeze, just for you to know your um, video's uh, freezing uh, at times. Just for you to know that. Ah, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Can you hear the audio okay? okay I mean, we, we can still, follow, yeah, we can hear the audio fine. It's just um, your uh, body's not matching your audio. But we'll just follow your body. I mean, we'll follow the audio. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. Yeah. So with, let's see, with toes together, inner big toes barely brushing, come on down, knees come back. With the inhale, sweep up, fierce pose. Send the knees back, reach the arms up, weight into the heels. Really fire up those glutes. How much can you bring the glutes in to support the quads? One more breath. With the exhale, palms together, hinge at the hips. Forward fold. In with your next inhale, strong core brings you up. Reverse swan dive. Grow tall, reach tall. Big inhale. With your exhale, Tadasana. One breath, Tadasana. Reset. Root down, tall through the spine. Next inhale, sweep it up, a little back bend. Exhale, sweep down, chair once again. Fingers brush, sweep arms up, knees back, high through the chest, drop it down another inch. Exhale, palms through, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, bend knees, plant hands, step it back. Plank pose. Inhale, plank. Take it down your way. Could be knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Two up dog. Exhale, send it back. Down dog. Couple rounds of breath. With your next inhale, float that right knee way high. Knee comes on top of the right elbow, bring the ankle bone up, one breath, inhale, send it high, exhale, sweep it through, drop the left heel, heel to heel, rise, warrior one, inhale, grow tall, right hip crease back, left hip point forward, three breaths here, see if you can get nice and deep in that right quad, send energy through the spine, out the arms, out the fingertips, one more breath, big inhale, Exhale, bring it down, frame the foot, stand back, plank pose. If you're fatigued, right back to down dog, otherwise, vinyasa through. Once you're back in down dog, big round of breath. With your next inhale, float left leg way high. Exhale, knee above the left elbow. So you can get the left ankle up as high as the knee. Inhale, send it up. Exhale, send through. Lunge pose, spin down, heel to heel, rise. Warrior one, set up, see how you're doing. Left hip point back, right hip crease forward. Reach tall, quads, so you can get a little more parallel to the earth. Two more breaths. Big inhale. Exhale, brings you down. Vinyasa through, we're right back to down dog.
Once you're in down dog, big breaths. Big inhale. Big exhale. With your next exhale, bend knees, look forward. Big step or hop. Top of mat. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, release. Forward fold. Inhale. Halfway left, just to relax. And then settle it down, chair pose. Once again, weight in the heels, knees back. Sweep arms up. Chest up a little higher. Exhale. Sweep through. If you'd like, come on up. Balls of the feet lift. Palms lift a little higher. Shoulder blades squeeze together. Drinking bird. One breath. With your exhale, drop the heels. Sweep it back up. Reaching tall. Come up into a little back bend. Big inhale. Exhale. Tadasana. Round of breath. Feel your body. With your next exhale, sit it down. Touch earth with fingertips, leave the quads right where they are. And slow to heart space this time. Left tricep, outer edge of the right thigh. Come into your chair twist. Right shoulder stacks over left. Elbow stack. Top palm presses into bottom. Drop the tailbone a touch. Two more breaths. Revolve around the spine. With your exhale, Release, forward fold, round breath. Pedal out if you need to get a little release in the legs, and we'll take the second side. Once again, sit it down, fingers brush earth, knees come back, weight in the heels, palms to heart space, revolve, come around the spine, right tricep, outer thigh, stack hips, sorry, stack shoulders, stack elbows, press top, elbow, top hand into bottom. There we go. Two more breaths. Feel the quads, bring non-judgment to it. And with your exhale, release, forward fold. Couple rounds of breath here. Pedal out. With your next inhale, long spine, halfway left. With your exhale, bend knees, plant hands, step or jump back, plank pose. Maybe go right back to down dog or vinyasa through, and we'll meet up and down dog. Once you're back in down dog, couple rounds of breath, big inhales, big exhales. Send so much length through the spine, and feel the weight, the energy go back down legs into the balls of the feet. Another round of breath here. And then with your next round of breath, go ahead and drop it down, find child's pose. Once you're in child's pose, let it go. Really feel your breath begin to settle. Big inhale. Big exhale. See how much you can melt into the earth. And then nice and slowly, with your next couple rounds of breath, come on out of your child's pose. Come on back up. Find your down dog. Take a big round of breath in down dog. With your next exhale, bend knees. Look forward, big step or a hop to the top of your mat. Inhaling, halfway left. Exhale, release. Forward fold. Strong core brings you all the way up. Reach up. Grow tall with your exhale, hands through into heart space, Samastitihi. Take a couple rounds of breath in Samastitihi, equal standing pose. 
Recall your intention and feel your body. With your next round of breath, release arms down, Tadasana. Take a big, huge step. Take up most of your mat. Face your camera if possible. Kick the heels out. Bring arms behind you to interlace out your tailbone. Reach the knuckles down. Let the shoulder blades lift the heart space. Look up. Big inhale. With your exhale, release forward fold. Let the knuckles float up. If it's too much on your hamstrings, your groin muscles, bring the hands down to the earth for support. If it feels good, a couple rounds of breath with the shoulder opener. With your next round of breath, release the arms, bring them down under your shoulders, take a halfway lift. We're going to take a twist in our wide leg forward fold. So bring the left wrist right underneath the chin. Keep the finger pads to the earth. You can move them as they need to, but keep that connection. And then reach outer edge of the left foot or wherever you can grab and then stack left shoulder over bottom shoulder and then revolve around the spine look up under that left arm maybe a little sense of pulling traction pulling not yanking pulling on that outer left shin to help you come a little more into the twist couple breaths here root into the legs as you revolve With your next round of breath, release it. Take a moment back and halfway lift, hands under shoulders. And then switch it out. Right wrist crease under the chin. Thread the left arm through. Grab opposite, grab outer right chin. Stack shoulders, revolve around the spine, look under the right underarm. Couple rounds of breath here. You can have that gentle sense of traction pulling left hand into the shin. And then even that sense of left shoulder blade pulling away in the opposite direction. That might give you a nice stretch right in the shoulder blade line. Two more breaths. With your next round of breath, release it out. Come shoulders stacked over wrists and halfway left. Kick the heels in so the big toes are pointing to the respective corners of the mat. Drop the tailbone. Come up standing tall, goddess pose. Feel your strength. Drop the tailbone. Find a focal point. Kick one heel up, kick the other heel up. Three breaths. See if the heel can come up a touch higher. See if the tailbone can drop a little lower. One more breath. Stay strong. Exhale. Drop the heels, hands to quads. Take some nice free form motion. This helps us get in to the tops of the shoulders, which oftentimes is a hard place to find a stretch. So find that kind of figure eight type of motion. Couple rounds of breath worth. After you get one more full side on each shoulder, meet up back in goal post, sit the tailbone down, Settle in here, one breath, and then sweep it up, top of mat. Take a round of breath, Tadasana. From the top of your mat, we're going to come into a standing splits. So root into the left leg, reach the arms up, and then hinge right at the hips. Keep a soft left knee, float the right leg up. If you hit the back wall like I just did, take a step forward, come on in again. One or two more breaths in your standing splits. Square the hips, reach long through the bottom leg. If you need blocks under the hands, that's fine. And then we're gonna come into some Shiva squats. Make sure you can see me. So with your right, let your right knee float right behind the left knee. Keep the left knee not going past the middle of the left foot. Sit it down, inhale back up, standing splits, two more. Knee behind, right knee behind left, sit down. Inhale back up, standing splits. Last one, hover in, 
Right knee behind left, left knee stays back. Drop it down a little farther. Bring the hands beneath you, come all the way down. Once we're down, we're almost ready for our half lord of the fishes, our seated twist. Set up so that that right heel is outside the left hip point. The left foot is down in front and on the outside of the right knee. Take a moment, instead of slumping down, bring the hands to the top of the left knee and then sit super tall. Then root both sitting bones down. Then send left hand behind you. Reach right arm up, super tall. Start your twist. You can hug in, stay like that, or elbow to the outside of the knee and maybe take the half bind. Maybe to the back tag of the pants or around to the side, grab on the fabric. Inhale, super tall. Exhale, twist. Revolve around the spine, gaze over the left shoulder. We'll stay about three breaths. So maybe each inhale can take you a touch taller. Each exhale might come, help you come into the twist a touch more. One more breath. Inhale, tall. Exhale, twist. Next exhale, counter twist, come to the other side. Puff out that left side body. And then come on back, plant that left foot, come back up, standing splits. If you are feeling like a power move, you can bring hands to heart space and bring it into a warrior three. And then we'll meet back up, Tadasana. Take a round of breath in Tadasana and we'll get ready for that second side. As ready. Root that right foot down. You can come through airplane or warrior three to come into your standing splits. So root down, hinge at the hips, so strong through the back leg, maybe hover in warrior three for a moment, and then drop hands down. Remember, grab the blocks as needed. So standing splits, so strong through the standing leg, so strong through the top leg, long through the spine. Then we'll take our Shiva squats. Exhale, left knee behind right, keep the right knee back, Inhale back up, standing splits. That's one. Exhale, Shiva squat. Keep that right knee from floating too far forward. Inhale, standing splits. That's two. Exhale, bring it down. Left knee behind right. Hover, drop it down a little bit more. Bring the hands beneath you all the way down. And we'll get ready for our half lord of the fishes on the second side. So scooch that right, sorry, left heel out, away from the right hip point. Root both sitting bones down. Interlace at the top of the shin. Grow extra tall. Right hand comes behind the sitting bones, the tailbone. Inhale, sweep up, grow extra tall. Exhale, find your twist. Perhaps hugging in. Perhaps elbow to the outside of the knee. Perhaps the half bind. Inhale. Super tall through the spine. Exhale, look over the right shoulder, twist. Two or three more breaths here. Each inhale, sending you tall. Each exhale, helping you twist a touch more. Root, both sitting ones down. Last breath here. Exhale, twist. Next exhale, counter twist. Puff the right side body. Big inhale. Big exhale. Release it back out. Send both legs long. We'll take a seated forward fold just to get back in our hamstrings and get a stretch through the low back. So hinge it forward. If the hands reach the edges of the feet, that's great. If not, let them drop where they're gonna drop. Use your core strength to find your forward fold. So no yanking and pulling, core strength, long through the spine so we don't stress the low back. Flex the feet. Engage the quads. One or two more breaths. Walk it back up. We're gonna come into a wide leg seated pose and find our groin stretch here. So, to find your groin stretch, 
If you're tight in the groins, maybe just wide legs and then hands behind the sitting bones to sit you tall. If you're more open in the groin muscles, begin to walk it forward. Maybe yogi toe lock, so peace fingers on the bottoms of the big toe, thumbs on top. Gentle traction to help you move forward. Kick the heels away, engage the quads. Really feel your whole leg, all leg muscles working as we come into the groin stretch. One or two more breaths here. With your next inhale, come tall. Bring that left heel all the way up to the top of your groin. Take your twist. I'm going to give lots of options in our Janya Shirsasana. So whatever feels good in your body. We will start with our standard Janya fold. So bring that right hip crease back. See if you can walk the hands down on the opposite sides of the feet to keep your sense of the twist. And find the hamstring stretch, reaching the forehead long, feeling both sitting bones connected to the earth. So you can practice either the traditional Janyu, which is crown of head reaches towards the knee, or what I feel what I find feels really good in my body is to have that sense of crown ahead as if it wants to reach past the toes. A couple rounds of breath here. And then here comes the part with lots of options. We're going to come into the revolve version with an option to twist. So we're going to revolve our Janyu by bringing the left shoulder over the right. Top of the forearm can come to the top of the shin. You can have palm up Yogi Toe Lock. If you're more open, Top of the forearm can come down to the floor and then sweep that arm up. Now we haven't done much in the way of side body stretching, so this might feel like a lot. Be careful. If you don't want to have that arm float, bring it to the back of your head. Elbow can kind of help you into the pose. Stay long in both sides of the body. Now you can stay here for several more rounds of breath or you can come into the twisted version. If you want the twisted version, You'll sweep your left hand for yogi toe lock. Sweep your right arm, grab the top of the quad, re-stack shoulders, and then puff the left side body out, crown of the head reaches towards the knee, and take several rounds of breath here, revolving around the spine. When you're ready to release, square torso over the thigh, Walk it back up, tall torso. Second side, bring that left leg out. Right heel all the way up at the top of the groin. Twist, torso like it wants to be along the inline with the left leg. Sit tall, right hand can walk down the outside, left hand can walk down the inside. Maybe you'll grab the edges of the feet. And experiment. Johnny with the head as if it wants to go past the toes or Johnny with the head as if the crown wants to meet the knee. Sitting bones root down. Heel energetically moves away from the hip socket. Quad moves the femur back up into the hip socket. Couple rounds of breath here. With the next round of breath, Walk it back up, and then we'll move into our side stretching Johnny, the revolve version or the twisted, or both. So, your choice, forearm to the top of the shin, forearm to the floor, yogi toe lock, palm up. With that palm up, settle in. Stack shoulders. Sweep the arm up, puff that right side body out, look up, decide if you want the hand to the back of the head. Arch through so you're long through both sides of the body. If you want to try the twisted version, you're going to take that right hand down, yogi toe lock, big toe, sweep the left arm through, grab the quad, 
Stack shoulders, stay long through both sides of the body. Arch over. Remember if it's too much, just back off. Can be a big stretch on the side body. And remember we haven't done a lot in the side body today, so be gentle with yourself, as always. Couple rounds of breath. Keep rooting down both sitting bones. And then nice and slowly, square the shoulders back off. Walk yourself back up. Cross at the ankles. And then come on over and send it back. You can go right to down dog or if you want to go a little heat back up. Chaturanga to up dog or eight point pose to baby cobra. And then send it back down dog. You might find it feels good to get a little side to side here. A little pedal out. I'm going to guide through leg lift, hip opener to flip dog to pigeon. If you would like to do that, super. Make sure you've got a clear landing pad on both sides. If you're ready to settle into pigeon sooner, take the hip opener and then go right to pigeon. With your inhale, float that right leg way high. Take your hip opener, stack hips, knee to sky, heel to tailbone, square the shoulders off a bit. With your next round of breath, send it slow motion over to flip dog, drop the bottom top leg, drop the sitting bones, let the low back lift the belly button, let the hip points lift high, shoulder blades squeeze together, let the heart space reach long, look over those right fingers, a couple breaths to really lift through the whole front body. With the next round of breath, send it back over, reach that top leg long, and bring the knee outside the mat behind that wrist. And then I invite you to take a pigeon heart opener by walking hands back to the waist, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the heart, look up, with exhale, bring down long spine. Settle in, support forehead with block, stack fists, back hands, flex that right foot, bring right hip grace crease back, left hip crease forward. Breathe here. We'll stay about 10 breaths. So if you have a pose that you like to do out of pigeon, such as quad stretch, mermaid or king pigeon, if those are in your practice, feel free to take them. If you're going to settle in and stay as I am, bring the breath as if you could send the warmth of the breath right to the tight spot. See if you can let that warmth help you release. Just about three or four more breaths. And nice and slowly, reverse it on out. Bring the hands back under the shoulders, curl over the back toes. Send the right leg up in three point down dog. Take your pump ins, pump out, maybe another little hip opener, and sell back. Down dog, reach arms long, hips up high. Next inhale, sweep that left leg way, way high. Take your hip opener, square the shoulders, enjoy it for a breath or two. As ready, flip the dog. Top leg comes down, sitting bone towards the earth. Then let the glutes lift the hip points, let the, let the low back lift the belly button, let the lumbar spine lift, let the shoulder blades bring the heart space open. Root into the right arm, claw it down, look over the left fingers. A couple breaths here, really expand through the whole front body. As you're ready, flip it back over, send the left leg long, bring it through, set up for pigeon, second side. Knee to the outside of the mat, behind the wrist crease, right leg in one long line. Come into your pigeon heart opener, walking the hands back, shoulder blades. Lift the heart, puff the pigeon chest out, exhale, bring it down. Walking it down, spine is long, flex the left foot, 
stack fists, find your block, stack hands, whatever you need to support the forehead so you can relax through the shoulders and through the neck. So about 10 breaths from here. So if you took a pose out of your pigeon on the first side, so in the next couple breaths, go ahead and grab it on the second side. the breath right to the tight spots. A couple more breaths before we transition out. And then as you're ready, hands on your shoulders, on thread, bring that left leg nice and high, pump it out a couple times, maybe a hip opener, and then settle it back down. Down dog. Use this down dog to reach those arms long. Send the hips up and back. Melt the heels. Feel so much length in your whole body. And then with your next exhale, bend knees, look forward. Just step it all the way through, coming into your supine position. And then we'll set up for bridge pose. Bring the feet flat to the earth. Find that place where the fingertips can brush the heels. And to get ready for our bridge pose, we're going to keep the arms alongside, root the low back down. With your inhale, lift up. Press into the feet. Let the glutes lift the hip points. Feel that sense of energy. Hip points out the knees. Weight into the trapezius muscles. Then go ahead and find your full expression by interlacing, tucking shoulders, lifting the hips. Root the back of the head into the earth. Three more breaths from here. So see if each inhale can help you lift a touch higher. Last breath, high as still. Exhale, reverse and on out. Drop it down. Let that lumbar spine flatten out. We've got a nice front body stretch in our flip dog if you took that. And we're going to go ahead and work into a nice full back body stretch. So with arms alongside, bring the knees so they hover up over the torso and then over the forehead, and then send the legs long. Squeeze the shoulder blades into the midline. If you're staying in pike, bring the hands up to support. Otherwise, hands can be alongside, arms alongside, and then come into your plow pose. Keep those shoulder blades squeezed into the midline. Keep the gaze straight up to the sky. If the toes touch, wonderful, kick the heels away. Or experiment with bringing the tops of the feet down, long through the legs. A couple breaths here. Experiment with what helps you get that full back body stretch. And then with your next round of breath or two, we'll transition into shoulder stand. Bring hands to the low back. One leg comes up at a time. So you want Barbie feet here. That's the balls of the feet reaching to the sky, spread through the toes. And then have that sense of quads wanting to go toward the top of your mat, shins wanting to go toward the back. So you can come one long line, hip points through the balls of the feet. Shoulder blades squeeze to the midline, so no cervical spine connects with the mat. If cervical spine, cervical spine is connected to mat, come on down. If this feels good, a couple more breaths. When you're ready, we'll transition into bringing knees to the forehead. If this feels good and you feel like you have more room, you can transition into ear pinning pose, which is inner knees into the ears. Careful with the neck. Give yourself a little support. Hard game. And then roll it down. And we'll transition nice and slowly with core strength into fish pose. Thumbs under the tops of the hamstrings where it meets the butt, forearms down, toes point, shoulder blades lift the heart, come into I'm watching TV on the floor pose. That's the Sanskrit name. 
and then lift the shoulder blades, bring the crown of the head like it wants to come to the mat. So much lifting in shoulder blades into the heart, so much length, hip points through toes, and then open your mouth. Get a stretch in the throat, a couple breaths. Keep long through the spine, keep lifting through the shoulder blades. With the next round of breath, tuck the chin, come on down, take a round of breath, relax, let everything go. With your next inhale, bring both knees in, hover them in right into the underarms. And then we'll make our way into happy baby. We'll take some time in happy baby. So if you have a pose that's calling to you that you'd like to take before winding down in Shavasana, you've got time to either take happy baby in a nice leisurely way or taking two poses. Yogi's choice. I'll guide through a couple things in happy baby. So grab opposite, grab outer edge of the feet. Start with your lumbar spine tailbone connected to the mat. Send the legs up, pull down gently, hands pulling feet, and then take a little rock side to side. Massage out that little pelvis. And then after a couple more, find stillness, and then roll off the low back. Bring those knees like they want to come to the outer underarms. So you're going to get a little back stretch here and then kick the feet into the hands, pull the hands back down. See how many different stretches you can get at once. A couple rounds of breath. And then with your next round of breath or two, transition on out. Wrap up. Come into a teeny tiny little ball as you grab opposite elbows. Bring the chin in between the knees if it can go. Exhale, become a tighter ball still. And then inhale, reach everything long. Take a full body stretch, really enjoy it. Let the low back come off the earth so you can get a low belly stretch. Reach the arms long, point the toes. Then flex the feet, big inhale. Exhale, sweep the arms down and prepare for Shavasana. So to prepare for Shavasana, if you're inside and you've got a light that you'd like to turn off, great. Otherwise, definitely take a moment or two to cover up. So you're nice and comfortable as we find about five minutes or so of stillness. So feel free to turn off a light, saddle in. Once you find your supine position, find stillness. And just as we did at the start of class, big breaths, big inhales to fill all the way up. And then take some open mouth or big sighing out exhales to really release. <sighs> Several rounds. <sighs> Allowing each exhale to help you release a little bit more. breath that helps you do just that. So sometimes it is these big, loud, open mouth exhales. Sometimes it's sighing out. Sometimes it's soft breaths that just let us focus a little bit more on releasing each exhale. So whatever works for you, several rounds of it. If each exhale, you can feel heavier into the mat.
and then allow your attention to begin to scan through your body to find some of those places that could just use a little extra help to release. So start with the belly button and allow the belly button to float away from the spine and as you do that see if that helps relax the pelvic floor. And then just focus attention on low torso and pelvic floor and bring some more of the breath there and just see how much you can release. And then allow attention to come back up, pelvic floor, low torso, and then really bring attention to the ribs and all the little muscles between each rib and the spine as you begin to bring your attention back up, low ribs, mid spine, mid chest, shoulder blades, all the way up to the pectoral muscles, tops of the shoulder blades, and see how much with the next several rounds of breath, you can release in your whole mid upper torso. And then allow attention to come up to the hinges of the jaw. And then note where your tongue is. Keep the tip of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Let the back of the tongue release. And as you do that, see if that helps release your shoulders. And bring attention to your throat the very base of your throat, front of your throat, and just see if there's room to relax a bit more there. And then begin to bring attention to the upper head and face, so all the muscles that support the cheekbones, the eyes, temples, forehead, crown of head, back of head, all the way to the place where the skull meets the cervical spine and see if you can release all of the upper head, back of head at once. And then see if you can just feel your entire body all of the sensations in your inner body at once. And then allow attention to stay on this kind of wide open inner awareness and of course, noting thoughts when they come in, which they will, and just let them go. And keep this wide open inner awareness and relax. As we begin to make our way out of this inner awareness, out of our Shavasana, allow your attention to become or to turn to outer awareness. 
You just might notice some thoughts, sounds, touch of the air on skin. And begin to make some small movements, wrist circles. Take a neck stretch by bringing chin to shoulder, grounding opposite shoulder down and taking that side to side a few times. And then as you're ready, roll to your right, find that comfortable seated position. Sorry, comfortable fetal position. There we go. Really enjoy that fetal position for several rounds of breath. Just once again, feeling your body from the inside out, feeling the effects of your practice. And then nice and slowly finding your way to a comfortable seated position. Seeing if you can keep eyes closed, bringing hands to heart space. And then take a moment to really feel your body, recall your intention. close our practice with a single round of OM. I encourage you to join in even with your mic muted. So it can be a really nice feeling. So if you don't usually try it in class, try it on your own. Empty out. Big inhale. So much for joining our class virtually on Zoom. The inner spirit in me sees and honors the inner spirit in each of you. Namaste. Thank you.